Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, so today, we're going to be having a look at another Pokemon GX card, which is coming out in the Detective Pikachu mini set. I did show you the Greninja GX just earlier today, just a couple hours ago, really. Yeah, lots of news came out today, so I kind of had to bust it out when I got home, but you know, these things have to be done. Once again, we see this Charizard features artwork from the movie, but just like I said in my Greninja video, although it uses movie artwork, it is in all other cases a regular Pokemon card. That means you evolve it in the usual way, it's legal to put in decks, etc, etc. It is coming out in the Charizard GX case file, and at this stage I should say a massive thank you to the lovely Joe over at Cerebi.net for providing the images, a lovely website that you should all be using on a regular basis, because it's awesome. So the basics here, 250 HP is absolutely massive. It's about as high as GXs get, but having said that, it is the same as the other Charizard. Weirdly enough, the retreat cost of 4 is double the other Charizard, but given that we're getting brawny pads in a couple of months, I don't have an issue with this, because if you've got a retreat cost of 4, brawny pads gives you an extra 50 HP, bringing you up to 300 and right in line with Magikarp and Waylord. That, ladies and gentlemen, seems like a very, very good thing to me. Now, you are weak to water, which could be a bit of an issue because Quagsire is making some decks viable. And, of course, the Greninja we looked at. Oh, no, wait, that one doesn't hit for weakness. Whoopsie-daisy. And you are a fire type, which means you're hitting weakness on grass Pokemon. Celebi and Venusaur Tag Team GX is doing very well in Japan, and should do over here. As well as metal Pokemon like Dusk Main Necrozma. Sweet. So the first attack here, no translation needed. Joe was nice enough to give us English versions of the cards. Although, I mean, they were revealed in a press release and all that. But Jokes was the one that sent them, gosh darn it. One fire energy. Discard the top eight cards of your deck. If any of those cards are fire energy cards, attach them to this Pokemon. So it's one of these giant risk-reward kind of attacks. Because make no mistake about it, ladies and gentlemen, discarding the top eight cards of your deck can be incredibly risky. This is a stage two deck, so you're going to be using rare candy to evolve up. What happens if you do this and you discard a bunch of rare candy? Or you discard your Guzma that you need in the late game to drag a Pokemon active and KO them? No, 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 no. This can be risky. But on the reward side, what if you hit 6 or 7 energy, completely get Charizard rolling straight away, and then you're basically just crushing, which is absolutely awesome. Like I said risk reward now the problem with this of course is that you're accelerating the energy using the first attack and then you're just sitting in the active you essentially let your opponent have a free hit after accelerating the energy and pokemon like tapu lele and especially garnivore that do more damage depending on how much energy is on you really can take advantage of this it's why i've always been wary of using the first attack on reshiram gx for instance now, what is very strange to me, this is weirdly similar to the Charmeleon from Dragon Majesty. This says when you evolve it up, discard the top five cards of your deck if any of them are fire energy attached them to this Pokemon. It is the exact same thing with two major differences. Firstly, it's eight cards, not five. Secondly, Charmeleon is an ability and can be used on the bench and only gives up one prize, whereas Charizard is an attack so you've got to do it when you're in the active, letting your opponent take a hit. Make no mistake, this could absolutely backfire. Still, if you're desperate and you really need the energy, it could work. Second attack, nice and vanilla, two fire energy, three colorless, flat 200 damage. Yet there aren't many Pokemon that can do a flat 200 damage. I mean, I mentioned Duskmane Necrozma earlier. Well, that can do 220 as long as you're willing to discard three of them. Ho-Oh can do 180, but then you're not allowed to attack next turn. Really, ladies and gentlemen, 200 damage flat with no downside is great. It's an automatic KO on a Lycan Rock. It's an automatic KO on a Buzzwall. And then if you had a choice badge, you're getting things like Zoroark, 
Guard of War, Greninja, although not other Charizard and Pokemon of that nature, because of course 250 is out of range even if you have a choice band. So what's the downside of this attack? Well, there is a fairly major downside, ladies and gentlemen. This is an extremely expensive attack. Two fire, three colorless. Now, we got plenty of things to use here, but one of the things that should really stick out here, you can use Kiawe, it lets you attach four energy to one of your Pokemon, four fire energy from your deck, and then it ends your turn. And that still isn't enough energy here. If you get four energy on a Charizard, that is not actually enough to use the attack. Which is a little bit terrifying. But it's a flat 200 damage. So actually, it's kind of worth it. And as well as Kiawe, we've got double colorless energy. We've got the first attack. We've got Charmeleon, we've got Reshiram GX, the GX attack for 4 energy, which will be gotten going with a Kiawe, does 180 damage and lets you attach 5 fire energy from your hand, so you do have to have the energy in hand, but might I suggest Fiery Flint, and then you should be getting a GX KO, and then accelerating the energy, which is really rather nice here. There are ways to get this energy on. I should mention if you're using this attack, you really want to try and make sense of Wishful Baton, because that means that when you get KO'd, you get to move free basic energy to one of your bench Pokemon. Of course, this is a tool, so if you're using Wishful Baton, that would then mean you wouldn't be able to take advantage of Choice Band because you can only have one tool attached at a time. So, a, a choice to be made there, ladies and gentlemen. And actually, one of the best options we've got here, you have to go into Expanded, but we do have Blacksmith that lets you attach two Fire Energy from your discard, and yeah, that plus a double colorless energy still won't actually pay for the attack. It is a very expensive attack. And the GX attack is just as expensive, but oh my goodness, it's a good one. 250 damage. Discard one energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon. This is a very, very good GX attack. To put this in context, this is actually the same as Gyarados' GX attack. And by the same, I mean same effect, but you do 250 damage as well. Now, Gyarados is one energy on a stage one rather than five energy on a stage two, but you are still discarding an energy from each of them. Now, 250 will KO any GX. Even when you get up to big boys like Incineroar that have 250, not a problem, ladies and gentlemen, because you're doing 250. In terms of tag team GXs here, you're not getting all of them, but near enough. If you had a choice band to go up to 280, you still won't get a KO on Magikarp and Waylord, but you will get all of the other ones. And that is at the same time as discarding an energy from all of your opponent's Pokemon, which is going to slow them down and potentially lock them out of the game for a minute. If they're using something like Zoroark and you can hit a double colorless energy, and by which I mean two or three, it's not all that likely, but if you can, you can basically lock them out of the game, force them into using a Rangaroo to recover them, and then they're wasting a turn, and you can Guzma and KO some stuff, because even after using the GX attack, you've still then got enough energy on there to do 200 damage. This is a very big boy, ladies and gentlemen. 250 HP, 200 damage on the main one, 250 on the GX. It's just so expensive. And although we've got options, they're not all amazing. Double colorless energy is vulnerable to something like Enhanced Hammer. Kiawe ends your turn. Reshiram is your GX attack for the game. And your first attack could leave you vulnerable to discarding the wrong things, as well as just standing in the active waiting to be hit after accelerating the energy. This is going to be an extremely popular card because it's Charizard. And it's in a packet which has Detective Pikachu all over it. People are going to adore Detective Pikachu the movie. So if you give me a Detective Pikachu set with a big 250 HP Charizard GX in it, I think it's fair to assume that this is going to be an extremely popular card. Is it a good card? Free wassies.
I don't think it's a bad card. I think there is a huge amount of potential here. But if you give me a stage 2 that attacks for 5 energy, you really do need some other stuff there. And I just don't know if we've got good enough support. But I would very much love to know what you think. So please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. But please do remember the most important rule as always. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all of that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do all of that. And do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Wassy Plays, where we talk Transformers and Keyforge and whatever games meet our fancy. But by far the most important thing as always, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.